What do you think of that? I've got a new light and it has a remote control and I love it. Uh, so I just wanted to show that off. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was the office. I, I think you've seen it before if you saw the last video. Don't get used to it though because I'm not gonna be here for that long, just a few months. And the reason I got it was because, oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a bit of a nightmare. My neighbor has been having building work done to his house for about the last year. And that's involved having a lot of builders at the front of the house, which is also at the front of our house. And uh, they make, uh, you know, obviously a lot of noise because they're building. So we've got drills and cement mixers and lorries reversing and stuff being done the, the whole time. And I've been doing a lot of recording recently, sadly not for YouTube so much, but I've got another project that I'm working on, which is taking up all of my time. And, and I need it to be quiet so that I can record in the day. And we've got the builders, and when the builders aren't making a noise, the children are quite noisy, so I thought, well, I'll get an office. You see, now that, that's what I mean. Anyway, I'll come, I'll come to that in a minute. So I'll get an office. And uh, so I got the office, I got it about a few weeks ago. It took me about a week to move in. And during that time I was setting it up. It was all quiet, it was lovely, I thought it was great. And, uh, and anyway, the day, I'm not joking, the day I moved in, the actual day I moved in, um, the building next to me here uh, had some refurbishment starting and scaffolding went up and, you know, and builders moved in. And, and essentially they spent most of their time, it seems, banging on this wall with a hammer for about six hours a day. So, uh, and then when that's not happening, I get the alarm. When anyone walks in and out of the building, it makes a beeping noise like the one you just heard. So I'm not much better off in terms of noise uh, pollution, but I do like it anyway. So I hope you like, I hope, I hope it was worth it. Anyway, there we go. So I just thought you ought to know that. Um, there are a few things I want to share with you in this video. Uh, and they are mainly learning resources for data science uh, and they're really good. Uh, you may or may not have seen them, I don't know, um, but it's, it's something I've been meaning to share with you for a while. The main one is a book published by Microsoft. It's, uh, it's an ebook. you can download it, it's a PDF and it is the, it's basically an introductory book on data science. It covers uh, the maths of data science, it's called Foundations of Data Science and it covers all the maths you're likely to need to learn data science, um, you know, and it's all in one place. Now, I haven't read it all. I've had a quick look at it. It looks pretty good, but if you're in the market for a free ebook on data science and the maths that you need to know to understand data science, then I would really recommend it. It was brought to my attention by Kirk D. Bourne, who, uh, that's his Twitter, I, I refer to him as that because I'm so used to seeing him that, as that on Twitter. His name's Kirk Bourne, he works for Booz Allen. He's a data scientist there uh, and uh, the chief data scientist, I think. And um, he, I, I've mentioned his Twitter account before on this channel, but if you're not following it, do follow it. It's a, it's a very good channel, especially if you want learning resources for, for data science uh, and Python and that kind of thing. Uh, and the other learning resource I wanted to share with you is one that was released recently. Well, it was an updated version of it was released recently. It's um, the Pandas documentation, but it's so much more than just, you know, documentation. It's a, it's a manual really on how to use Pandas. Uh, and it was written by Wes McKinney and the PyData development team. Um, so, you know, Wes McKinney is the man behind Pandas uh, and it, it goes into a huge amount of detail. And I think these two, you know, combined would really help you learn data science and be able to implement it then in Python and Pandas. And while we're on the subject, you know, I think we ought to say that, you know, Wes McKinney has contributed a huge amount to the Python community and, you know, everybody owes him a big thank you. I wonder whether Python would be the force that it is in data science and data analysis if it weren't for Wes McKinney, because his uh, library, the Pandas library, has really made Python in an incredibly useful tool in this field. And obviously Python was a fantastic language before Pandas came along, but the functionality that pandas gives to python in terms of handling data and analyzing data it is just incredible and you know wes mckinney's done an incredible job obviously now it's supported by a whole team but you know everyone really owes him a big thank you so you know thanks wes for um for developing that it's it's an incredible tool 
Uh, and one other thing I wanted to talk to you about or just bring to your attention is um, you may be aware of the hands-on machine learning book um, by Aurelien Giron, um, which came out a few years ago. The second edition came out a couple of weeks ago. My copy of it, hopefully, it should be on its way right now. It's quite expensive, but it, it promises to be even better than the first copy. And the first copy, uh, you know, the, fir the first edition rather, was just superb. And so uh, if you're, you know, in the market for a book on machine learning and you want to use um, TensorFlow, then I would certainly recommend taking a look, at least read some of the reviews and have a look, you know, before you spend the money or maybe get it from the library before you decide to spend the money. But I don't think you'll find a better book on the subject. Um, and I can't wait for my copy to come. So really that's it. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you the, you know, the new, the new office share those things with you and to say that uh, I'm working on a huge project at the moment. I'm, I'm um, creating a, a Python course, which hopefully will be ready sometime in the new year. Um, but I'm recording all day long, every day. And so I've had a lot less time for YouTube. Um, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, I hope to return to the weekly uploads soon, but I can't promise it's going to be that soon. I'll record when I can. Um, but I'm just so snowed under at the moment, it's a little bit difficult to get them up every week. Uh, but I'll just do them as and when I can. Anyway, I hope you really enjoy reading those resources. Link to in the description. Um, let me know what you think. Share some of yours as well. And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter. It's a better way of getting in touch with me than um, through YouTube because it's difficult to respond to all of the comments and sometimes I'm, well, I frequently miss them. Um, but if you contact me on Twitter, you're far more likely to reach me. So the Twitter handle is at Giles McMullen. Uh, so go and find me on Twitter and uh, I look forward to hearing from you soon and I'll see you again in the next video. Oh, I love that light. I mean, that's just...